If you're not already familiar with Dan Abramov, he's well known for being the creator of React. He didn't actually create React, it's just a common joke at this point. He did create Redux though, and was an early member on the React core team. He helped shape the direction of React both technically and more importantly, through the community and education side. He really wanted people to understand why he loved React so much and make it easier for others to feel the same way. And I'm one of many people who was directly inspired by his work. I don't know if I would be anywhere near as enthusiastic about React as I am today if it wasn't for Dan. He's been a huge inspiration for me since the day I started playing with the framework initially. And now with my life as a creator, it's hard to imagine where I would be if it wasn't for the hard work Dan did making React more accessible, fun, and enjoyable for the average developer. When Dan joined the team, he wasn't just another engineer helping build the framework. He quickly became the spokesperson, the face for the framework. He was always involved in the conversation, be it GitHub, Twitter, conferences, or wherever else. No matter where you were, if you were having issues with React, it's a decent chance he would pop up and offer to help. And he wasn't just helpful for people trying to use React, he was helpful for people trying to teach it, offering new mental models and ways for us to frame the things that React does. He really cared about how React was understood and used, not just how it was implemented and how fast it could perform. That focus allowed for React to grow in a way no framework had before it. And I genuinely believe his involvement is a huge part of why React became the giant monolithic community it is today. It would be unfair to not call out the new React docs as one of Dan's crowning achievements on the team. The hard work that he and Rachel Neighbors put into raising the bar here is unbelievable. Those docs set a new standard for the quality of experience someone can have adopting a new tool or framework. That was one of the things he was waiting to complete. and. He did it. The whole team of people who worked on those docs and every contributor should be proud of what they did there. And Dan, I really hope you've taken the time to reflect on how big of an achievement that is. I don't think Dan is leaving React anytime soon. As he said in the tweets, he's more confident leaving now than ever because there are finally core team members who aren't at Meta, be it the handful that are at Vercel or the newer handful that are at various random companies, if even employed. The React core team has diversified a lot, and as he mentioned here, they're actually interested in diversifying it even further. That said, he knows that he's leaving some big shoes to fill, and they're building an incredible team to do it. There's finally a focused team on developer experience and, more importantly, advocacy within the React core team. And this team's full of people I'm lucky enough to have talked with a bunch, and I couldn't imagine better folks to run things going forward. For React to succeed, they have to be deeply involved and invested in the community. And Dan was one of the strongest methods for that investment before. It's hard to imagine where React would be without the hard work Dan put in, but it's not something we have to worry about. And I'm really thankful that we have such awesome people helping push such an awesome framework forward. We really appreciate everything you've done for React, Dan, and I'm thankful you're not going away. But I hope you take the time that you need. You've worked incredibly hard, and I hope you know how many of us appreciate you for it. Goodbye, Dan. Hope you get some good rest. Peace, nerds.